Hey guys, welcome back to Top 10 Gaming. I'm Ron McKenzie the Fergie. Ever since PlayStation 4 came out, people have been trying to figure out how to hack their systems. Of course, we here at Top 10 Gaming do not condone this, but it is done. And for reasons unbeknownst to me, today I'll be going over some different ways to do so. I'll include some ways to break the rules and hack the device, but I'll also talk about some legal tips and tricks to maximize your experience with the PS4, so that there is something useful for everyone. But that means if you're getting ready to go, hey idiot, these aren't hacks, they're just tips. Shh. If you enjoyed this video, let us know by throwing us a thumbs up down below, and if you want more, check out our video on the best games for Nintendo Switch next. But before you do that, get ready, it's time for the top 10 ways to hack your PS4. Number 10. Jailbreaking. This one should probably be number one, but I'll throw it at the beginning because it's important for a few other points. Jailbreaking your device removes a number of restrictions that Sony put on the system, thus allowing you to download a number of third-party programs and change your system in a number of ways. Of course, jailbreaking your system has its problems. Your warranty will be void, you won't be able to play online, and if you're caught, you can be permanently banned from the PlayStation Network. But some people find that the benefits outweigh the risks. Number nine, add the PlayStation app to your phone. This one's a legal trick. The PlayStation app is free on mobile devices and it can be super useful and really improve your PS4 experience. You can use it to chat, browse a store, check your trophies, and even use it as a second screen to go through the menus. This also allows you to use your phone as the PlayStation keyboard, which is so nice because typing things with game controllers is a freaking nightmare. Number eight, add third-party themes. There are a number of themes that can be purchased legally on the PlayStation Store, but sometimes that just isn't enough for some people. But if you jailbreak your PS4, you can download all sorts of different themes that would normally be restricted. Whether you want something funky that just isn't found in the store, or you want something that's way too graphic for Sony with boobs, you can find a lot of different fake themes online. Plus, they're free, which is really the main reason a lot of people turn to this, which to reiterate, is bad. Number seven, Xbox adapters. If you're like me and you can't stand the PlayStation controller, this is a great way to improve your experience. You can buy adapters to plug into the PlayStation that allow you to use controllers for other systems. I won't list any brand in particular, but there are a bunch of products to choose from, and it's just awesome. Now, I will concede that this is less a hack and more a product that you can purchase, but it's insanely helpful for picky people like myself, whose stupid thumbs keep slipping off the stupid joysticks. Number six. Mods. Until the last few years, mods were pretty much exclusive to the PC, which is why I'm all about the PC. I love me some modded Skyrim. However, despite the increased modability of PS4 games now, hacking your system can give you access to far more. If you have a jailbroken system, you can add mod menus to all sorts of games, which lets you use a bunch of different mods that can change the quality of life for various games. And heck, while we're talking about mods, we might as well talk about the related topic. Number five, cheats. Yeah, this is probably one of the first things people think of when they imagine hacking a console. Along with the mods, there are cheats that can be used to improve your experience. And granted, it can be kind of fun to run through a game totally invincible, but it gets old pretty quickly, at which point you're pretty much just cheating yourself out of the game as it was meant to be played. But hey, to each their own. Number four, boost mode. This is the hackiest non-hack out there, and it's super cool. Lots of people hack their system to improve their gaming experience, but there's one way to improve older games right in the console. If you have a PS4 Pro and go to system settings, you can turn on boost mode. This improves gameplay and frame rates of games that were released before the PS4 Pro came out, so they look and play much better. Again, this is more of a tip than a hack, but it's a pretty darn important one. Number three, show hidden trophies. Personally, I'm not a big completionist in games. I tend to just want around for a while until I get bored and move on to a new game. Judge me if you must. However, if you're a trophy hunter, there are some that are really hard to find, which can make completing the game super frustrating. But good news! There's a trick for that. If you highlight the achievement and press square, it will no longer be hidden, and if you still need help, you can go into options and search the internet for even more help right in your console. It's spoilery, but definitely useful. Plus, with the new Sony Rewards program, trophies can be used for store credit, so this is even more useful. Number two, emulating consoles. I was so tempted to have each console to be its own point because, my goodness, that would make this easier to write, but that was too cheap even for me. So yeah, there are a variety of hacks out there that allow you to play all sorts of games on the PS4, including Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and a bunch of older systems as well. You can even hack it to run Linux and run emulators for older systems like the SNES. Now, this is used quite often, especially 
especially if there's just one game that you want for another system that doesn't warrant buying the whole system. And again, this is bad and we're not condoning it. That said, it's hard to deny someone the glory of Breath of the Wild just because they can't afford two systems. It's still wrong though. Number one, downloading free games. This is definitely the most common reason people jailbreak their PlayStations. Some people don't want to pay for games and want them for free, so they pirate them. I know, I just blew your mind, right? Sadly, it's a reality that if something can be stolen, some people will steal it. Ironically, these people often blame high prices for their theft, even though piracy is part of the reason games are getting more expensive in the first place. And for the last time on this list, I will once again say, we're not condoning this. Hacking your device to get free games is stealing. That's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please smack the thumbs up button and subscribe to Top 10 Gaming for more videos. Check out our Top 10 Sonic playlist for more videos like this one. And let me know in the comments if you know anybody who has hacked their PlayStation. Until next time, I'm Ron McKenzie LaFerzi with Top 10 Gaming. Later, gamers.